Okay, I'm going to show you how to program the Intelli control on the Continental Gearbell washer. Sorry about that. And you start by turning the machine on, the switch on the right. If that doesn't do it, there's a switch and a yellow encasement with a red rotary switch on the back of the machine, which you might have to turn on first. In any case, when the, it boots up, you see a picture of a washer, then you see three icons. This icon here is going to allow you to select the programs that are available to run. I can go back at any time with this arrow. I have the ability to create new programs with a blank sheet, modified programs, and I'm, I'm toggling between these using the arrow switches as they appear. Or I can get programs off the card. And the card looks something like this. And all this card does is it serves as like a floppy disk. It just stores programs that you can download from the washer or upload to the washer. It is not required for programming. Um, it's just the ability to save them to the card and transfer them to other machines if necessary. So today what we're looking at is we're going to create programs. And the easiest way to do this is modifying an existing program. The IntelliControl comes with about 20 programs on it. Uh, starting from program number 80 up to 99 and you can choose one that's closest to the type you'd like and then copy it. So what I'm going to do is say okay we're going to modify a program. I've selected this icon. I press OK. Now I'm going to say I want to copy an existing program. So now I go to my list and it skips forward to where the programs are. I'm going to choose a program on here that I think would apply to what we're doing. These are listed by temperature. Generally the temperature is going to tell you something about the program. A hotter program is going to be for white, clearly. I'm going to take program 81 and I'll select it. Now it's asking me where to copy it. So I'm going to copy it to program slot number one. I could put it on five by moving down, but it will just start with one. And now I hit select. So it copies it to one. Now I'm going to select that program. Actually, I'm going to go back. Excuse me. Now I'm going to choose Modify. I could go over here. That was to copy the program. Now I'm going to go back. I'm going to modify that program. And I'm going to choose program one that I just put there. First thing that comes up is a blank screen with a bunch of dashes. This is where I want to name the program. And I recommend naming programs in a very logical manner, something that makes it easier for the operators to use. To do this I can use buttons 2, 8, 6, and 4, the arrows if you see. If I choose 2 it's going to scroll through starting at A through the alphanumerics. So I'm going to call this Lenin's 1. So now I've got an L in there. I'll move over. I'll hit 6. I will now look for the I. Hopefully I can spell this properly. E I can also start from the other side of the alphabet, but then you're going to go through alphanumeric characters until you get to Z and you'll go backwards. Sometimes this makes more sense. And I just pass the S. And then again by hitting 8 down, the first thing it gives me is a space. So I can say space over. And now I can go and add a number, linens one. I could call it white linens, I can call it anything, but I'd be specific. So now I've got the program named. It's in there, it's got six steps in it. I'll call up step one, I'm gonna use the keyboard. That's what this in indicates. I'll select that. Now I'm in the first step. And it's asking if I want cold or hot water. Hot water, and this control is anything that is above ambient. So let's say about 40 degrees, 44 degrees. So anything above ambient, I'm going to have to add heat to. So we'll choose that. And now I've got to choose a water level. Low to full complete. It's about, as you can see, six different stages. Some of these stages are variable. If you get into configuration, you can modify them. Normally on a wash cycle, we start with a low level break where we add the suds. 
Next step after I hit OK is to put the temperature I want in. Well, if I want a different temperature, I can use the keyboard, put it in, and say OK. Now in this step, I've got to choose the chemistry that I want to use. Anything with a pitcher, and this is chemical 1, this would be no chemical, chemical 1 or chemical 2, which within each one of these I'll choose which signal. Um, and then this would be for the liquid chemical injection, the beaker. So these, the pitchers, are for the top mounted supply dispenser, which you can't see in this picture. And I'm going to choose because this is for our laundry chemical suppliers, I'm going to choose this one. If I keep going over using this arrow, I can choose the signal of the chemical that I want to put in. Since it's the first step, I'm going to assume it's, it's one, signal one for detergent. Now it asks me if I want to put a second chemical in that step, and I do not. So I'm going to leave it right there. Now it's asking me for the type of agitation. I can have no agitation. I can have low or aggressive. Um, typically on sheets, you're going to go with the aggressive, something delicate. You might be scrolling over and choosing one of these. And really, it's the dwell time. It's one turn and how many seconds between the reversing turn. So if it's a low agitation, it might be a turn to the right, wait for 30 seconds, and then a turn to the left, wait for 30 seconds. If it's very aggressive, it might be a turn to the right, five seconds, a turn to the left, five seconds, and so on. We will, because again, we're sheets and we want to get them clean, we're gonna go with the high agitation. Now I'm gonna choose the length of the program, length of the step, I should say. And I just added in too many, so we're gonna go back to five minutes. Do I want to drain, no drain, or drain? I'm gonna say I want a drain at the end of the step. So it drains it, and now it's asking me, what speed do I want to drain at? Do I want to drain at wash speed, distribution speed, lowest extract level, all the way up to the highest extract level? Typically, we do it at distribution speed. You can elect to not drain if you want to keep the chemical in there and proceed to the next step. But we're going to choose distribution speed drain. So once the machine stops draining, we'll give that two minutes to do that. Say OK. Then it's asking, hey, is this the end of the program? If I choose the bell, that would mean it's the end of the program, but it's not. We're just at the end of phase one or step one. So now it's asking, do I want to exit or do I want to go to phase two? And I want to go to phase two. So now it's in phase two. I say OK again. I'm going to put the information in via the keyboard over here. So I select that again. And now it's, we're back to where we were before. Cold or hot water. I'm going to say we're going to want this time. We got the suds in. We didn't need a lot of temperature there, but now we're going to jump it up a little bit. We're going to go to level three, and I'll take it up in temperature to 140. I'll say OK. Again, it's going to ask me for chemistry. Let's say on this one, we want some other type of surfactant, and I'll choose two. And do I want a second one? No, I do not. So I'm choosing the picture with the line through it. And again, aggressive um, agitation. And we'll say we'll leave it at nine minutes for the purposes of this. Now, because it was uh, over a certain temperature, it will give us the option to provide a cool down. This is no cool down, this is cool down. If you're worried about thermal shock, which could result in excessive wrinkling that occurs in polyester cotton linens, you could program in a cool down and tell it that you, it, will do, it will lower the temperature by injecting water on its own. It's a pre-formed uh, routine. And do I want to drain? So I'm going to say, yeah, I want to drain. And I want to drain again. We'll drain it at, this time we'll just drain it at wash speed. And I don't want a buzzer, so I say, okay. And I want to go on to the next phase. 
So we're in phase three, I select it, and I'm gonna use the keyboard again, so I select it. I'm gonna use cold water this time because we've had our washes, this is gonna be effectively a rinse. So we're gonna do a higher level. I'm gonna take it at next to the highest level and we will just put in 40 degrees. It's just gonna provide ambient, so that doesn't even really matter. Um, if this were a bleach step, in fact, let's back up a step. And I'm gonna make this, um, I'm gonna change the whole thing. I'm gonna make this a bleach step and I'm gonna go over and say, all right, I want it a hot water. And I'm gonna put it at a little bit lower level and I'm gonna say I want 140 degrees. If it's just a straight up traditional bleach, you'd probably need 160. I select okay. Now I'm gonna go over here. Typically bleaches fire on signal three. So I would select that. I don't want a second one. So again, that is selected. High agitation. I'm gonna put it in for six minutes. And in this case, all right, let's do that cool down again. Now the drain. And I'm gonna drain it, this time at a little bit higher speed because I wanna get some of that bleach out of there once I'm done. It'll do that for two minutes. And again, I'm not ready to stop because I'm gonna have a couple, I'm gonna follow up with a couple rinse steps now. So no end sound, no end beep. Collect, and I'll go on to the next phase. Phase four, okay. So now, again, using the keyboard, select that. I'm now just using cold water. I'm gonna do that rinse, it's already where I want it. 32 degrees, no chemical, and we'll do high agitation because initially it starts in a wash action. Two minutes, and then we're gonna do the drain. And at this point, we'll just do a standard drain. No bell, we're not, we're not done with the operation yet. So go to phase five. Phase five comes up. Again, we're going with the keyboard, so I select the keyboard. Cold water again, since it's a rinse, I'm gonna go with the highest level at 32 degrees. And here we're gonna probably put in a sour. So it's probably gonna be on signal four. Again, it may vary in how you hook up the machine. That's why this is your call. No second dose, we're gonna do it high agitation. We'll do this for four minutes and we're gonna drain. And this time I'm gonna go right to a high extract. This will be my final step. So how long am I gonna, I'm gonna go up for five minutes. That's a typical time for extract. And now I'm gonna say it's the end. And now I go to exit and so if I go back to the home screen, and scroll down, it now it appears. Sometimes you have to, because it, it, it was saving it, and now I've got linens one. So if I were to turn this on, it'll come up and this can be changed, but if this comes up, it's not worth taking the time to change, just hit start again. And now the machine's operating. So it's doing the five steps that I ask. It's starting out with a low level. Um, it's currently at 55 degrees. It's gonna fill the machine. I don't have water hook, hook, oh, I do have water hooked up to this machine, so I'm gonna stop this. <laughs> but that's the basics of how to program the IntelliWasher. I hope this is helpful.